Thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. So here we're talking about word permutations. And so if you want to look at our other video where we talk about permutations in general, you can go click in the upper left-hand corner, our upper right-hand corner, you can see that link. But this is dealing specifically with words, because the thing with words is that letters can often repeat themselves. And when letters repeat themselves, uh, something interesting happens. So how many distinct ways can we rearrange each word? Well, here we have Joe, J-O-E, with three different letters. So this is three factorial, because there's three letters that can go in the first slot, two letters that can go in the second slot, and then one letter that can go in the last slot. So 3 times 2 times 1 gives us 3 factorial. But what about letter B, Anna, A-N-A? -A? Well, there's three letters. However, the problem is the A's are interchangeable. That means we could think of this as A1 and A2, but if I switch them and put A2 and A1, that would still be considered the same thing. And so what happens is that there's two different words, each with the A and the A that can swap, but still would look the same to our eyes because we don't use A1 and A2 when we write letters. So because of that, we divide by 2 factorial. This is the number of ways that the A's can be rearranged. So with letter C, I have the word Annie. And so here we have five letters and we have two N's. So we're going to divide by 2 factorial for that one. Letter D, we have 4 letters, so it's 4 factorial. Now what's important here is that we have not only 2 A's, but also 2 N's. So that means there's 2 factorial ways to rearrange the A's, and there's also 2 factorial ways to rearrange the N's. So that means we take the 4 factorial and divide by 2 factorial for the a's and 2 factorial for the n's. Letter E, Canada. Now here we have 6 letters overall, but we have 1, 2, 3 a's. So we could think of this as a1, a2, a3. Well, how many ways can we rearrange those 3 letters? 3 factorial. So anytime you have a repeat letter, you have to divide by however many of those letters there are factorial. And so the classic example with word permutations is the word Mississippi. A lot of, a lot of tests will often throw this word at you. So let's count up the letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we have quite a few repeat letters. Let's see, one, two, three, four I's. So we're going to divide by four factorial for the I's. One, two, three, four S's. So we're going to divide by four factorial for the S's. And we have two P's. So we're also going to divide by two factorial for the P's. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. To support the channel, click the links down below. Thanks for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.